Sports Network, home of racing's biggest events, proudly presents the Road to the Kentucky Derby. When we start with our young horses, our goal is the Kentucky Derby. We'll have another that's won the Kentucky Derby! People are looking for potential. Nobody knows who the next Kentucky Derby winner is going to be. Good horses do come in all different shapes and sizes, but there are similar characteristics that the good ones all seem to have. Rough town's important in any racehorse. You can't bluff your way through the Triple Crown. It's got to be timing, luck, you have to have the horse. Most of these horses will kind of start to show you early in the year or late in their two-year-old year if they're the kind of horses that might have, you know, a mind towards getting on the trail. We need to have the mind that's going to be able to say, I'm faster and I'm better, to look that other horse in the eye and say, you're not getting by me, Jack. And welcome to the Road to the Kentucky Derby Preview. I'm Randy Moss, and before you know it, We'll be back here at historic Churchill Downs for Derby 139 on the first Saturday in May. But in the six short weeks between now and then, the road to the Derby almost always includes twists, turns, and potholes. And we'll be with you all the way. Our coverage begins next Saturday, March 30th, with the Florida Derby and Louisiana Derby. That's followed one week later by the Santa Anita Derby and Wood Memorial. And then we switch over from NBC Sports Network to NBC for the final two major derby preps, the Bluegrass Stakes and the Arkansas Derby on Saturday, April 13. The goal of this new Kentucky Derby point system is to you know, maximize the quality of the derby field, protect the integrity of the race, and create new fans. Some races last year and earlier this year are worth only 10 points to the winner. Thus, the importance of success as a two-year-old has been greatly diminished. That is followed by a month of races ending this weekend worth 50 points to the winner. Then come the most familiar traditional derby preps, worth 100 points each to the winner. Including all six races, we will be bringing you the next three Saturdays. The closer you get to the Derby, the more points that are available. It's compelling drama. I think the number one question that, uh, that people have out there right now is how many points is it going to take to get into the top 20 for the Derby? So with the understanding that much will be determined over the next month of prep races, let's dig a little deeper into which three-year-olds right now seem to be the leading Kentucky Derby contenders. Next Saturday's Florida Derby will be a key test for Shanghai Bobby, last year's two-year-old champion ridden by Rosie Napravnik, who you will meet later in this program. In his only race this year, Shanghai Bobby gave an outstanding effort in the Holy Bull Stakes, yet still suffered his first career defeat. It's my lucky day's got the lead from Shanghai Bobby as they come into the final 16th. The others are far behind. It's my lucky day will win the Holy Bull. Because of that, it's my lucky day and not Shanghai Bobby is likely to be the Florida Derby favorite. But they could be challenged by Orr, stretch running winner of the Fountain of Youth, trained by Hall of Famer Shook McGahee, looking for his first Kentucky Derby winner. Todd Pletcher is the CEO of perhaps America's most powerful racing stable. Pletcher not only has Shanghai Bobby, but also key Louisiana Derby hopeful Revolutionary. Revolutionary's putting in a late run inside the 16th pole. Escape from reality. Here's Revolutionary, who was last at the top of the stretch, and he got up to win it. And Pletcher also trains Verrazano, a perfect three for three after the Tampa Bay Derby and regarded by some as the number one Kentucky Derby prospect. Verrazano is now being pointed for the Wood Memorial, as is another unbeaten Colt, Vijack who after this Gotham Stakes stretch burst, ran his record to four for four. Fletcher's West Coast counterpart, Bob Baffert, 
also has a typically strong hand, including Flashback, the speedy gray who took the Robert Lewis stakes. Two weeks ago in the San Felipe stakes, Flashback and his pace rival Golden Sense were ambushed in the final furlong. Here the ghost gonna get up! Here the ghost gets up in the San Felipe! Here the ghost wins! The rematch is expected in the Santa Anita Derby. The legendary D. Wayne Lucas has trained four Derby winners, but none since 1999. In Oakland Park's Rebel Stakes, Lucas Horses finished first and second. Will take charge, running a giant one on the outside. Lucas, one, two. Will take charge, coming in Oxbo. Oxbo will take charge. Will take charge. Gets up to beat Oxbo in a thrilling Rebel. Will take charge appears to be headed next to Keeneland's Bluegrass Stakes with Oxbow probably staying at Oakland for the Arkansas Derby the same afternoon. And of course, the ultimate goal is to get to that finish line first, exactly six weeks from today. And we want to know who you think is going to win this year's Kentucky Derby. Tweet your opinion to at ABR Live and hashtag get in the game with America's best racing.